Karen Cunningham. Honorable Mayor, City Council, Karen Cunningham. Um, it's really interesting to listen to all of this stuff and if I were to recommend anything to you all tonight, I would say you can't vote on this. Um, what's really interesting to me is to hear, and I'm, I, you know, if I had my druthers, I would say let's get a group together that is city council, that is residents, that is non-residents, that is renters, that is owners, that is building owners, that is the city council, that is the city staff, that is everybody, and try and figure out how to solve our regional housing crisis, which I certainly understand is a huge issue and is awful. Um, you know, we have one <laughs> one police officer who lives here in town. We have none of our fire department who lives in town. We have a handful of our uh, teachers who live in town and, you know, that's really sad to me and I would love to resolve that. But Brisbane did not create the housing crisis that's in the Bay Area. Uh, that just blows my mind to continue to hear this. We did not create the housing crisis that is in the Bay Area, and we should not be the solution to the entire Bay Area housing crisis. Um, I, I understand that, you know, our developers and you know the people from San Francisco want places to live, um, and and I'm I'm all for finding solutions. I I really am. Um, you guys know me, you know I've got a big heart, you know I, f I find it really disheartening that you know the people who serve us cannot live here. I I've, it just It's not good to me. Uh, but thanks to the Senators and others outside of Brisbane for their comments on Brisbane. If Brisbane solved the collective Bay Area housing issues we would still be way behind the requirements that they say is needed. San Francisco has 30,000 vacant apartment buildings, houses right now that because of their own rules and the, the people who own these places don't have them out there for rent. Don't look at Brisbane and say we now need to solve that problem. San Francisco needs to solve their problems before they start pointing their fingers at us. And I understand that there's a San Francisco Housing Coalition. Love you guys. I have a millennial son. I, I get all of that stuff. But you know San Francisco has been building high-end luxury condos. San Francisco has been building all of these commercial buildings. Now they want to turn around and say it's on you Brisbane to solve that issue. Even if we solve the issue, which they say is 10,000 housing units short, we're not going to come close, even if we built those 4,400 units. I'm not saying I'm for or against in the future of doing anything, but this is a joke. The stuff that I'm seeing come down the pipe right now, pointing fingers at us, the stuff that's going on with ABAG, everything that's going on around us, this is not realistic. It's totally not realistic. I just want to point out something that was in the news earlier today that I kind of found uh, pretty interesting about San Francisco's management of their own issues. Wealthy San Francisco neighbors sue couple who bought their street. Hello? Hello? Did you guys read that? $14 per year per person to pay for the upkeep of the street, but the city wasn't smart enough to send the bill to the right address. And they now want to turn around and point their fingers at us and say, oh, Brisbane, you need to solve all of these problems. I think we need to be part of the solution, absolutely. I am so mad right now to be reading these things and to hear people sit here and point fingers at our city council at the people of Brisbane and say you need to solve this problem. We did not create the problem. We did not build those big towers in San Francisco and those luxury condos that are now displacing the people who are sitting here right now demanding housing and I wish I could provide it for them but I think the argument is very flawed. Sorry I'm a little upset about this. Thanks. I'm done. Thank you.